Monday, April 27, 2015, you can see this hamster. The abscess was lanced about uh, 15 hours ago. Now, this morning, 9 a.m., I expressed the the incised wound and you can see there's more abscess coming out this is uh, why the abscess recurs if you let the hamster goes home go home to the owner on the same day of surgery you can see the abscess there from the below my thumb and uh, the wound has not closed yet on the second day day two now because it's still it's still new now if you let the hamster go home the owner doesn't know how to express the past and so the wound closes that the wound soon closes after that on day three then the owner will come back and says well the excess recurs again that's the reason I say that uh, it's best to have the hamster inpatient for at least one or two days rather than sending it home. You can see the ear warts. Now this could be excised because sometimes it's irritating to the hamster. This is a two-year-old female hamster. The ear warts on the right and the ear warts on the left. Ear warts are quite common in old hamsters. So, in summary, always have a long incision or lance a, a big cut. Then you curate the pass, irrigate it, and drain it yesterday at the first day then the next day you still have to check it because you can't say that uh, you have expressed all the past and therefore you have done your job but actually as you can see from here that the past is still coming up I've done it earlier on and uh, before I got this camera the hamster had already rubbed off the, the past this is the second lot coming out after I got the camera and as you can see this pass is not much but still it's from deep inside the skin under the lower eyelid so today and tomorrow two days after the surgery you will check the wound and make sure that all the pass is eliminated or expressed and then the eye drops will be given the hamster is overall in good good shape and uh, normally we put it here and uh, his owner had given him plenty of food as you can see he has uh, a lot of food which the owner has prepared for him he says this owner does not like the hamster to be out of her home even for a few seconds but uh, in this case if the owner wants it back on the same day of surgery then uh, the vet has to tell her that should the uh, abscess recur then uh, they have to pay the full cost for the anesthesia and treatment again as a uh, it is not possible to be given free, free uh, treatment or guarantee of the guarantee that uh, abscess will not recur. But we can always minimize the risk, the recurrence by making sure that uh, the hamster is kept for two days inpatient and uh, check on the incised excess 
making sure that uh, the pus is expressed out, the residual pus and bacteria. This applies to the ear abscess in the terrapins too. Uh, the important thing is to make sure that the vet keeps the hamster in for observation for the next two days. And if the owner wants it back, then uh, she give her in writing that, uh, that should the abscess recur, she has a bare full responsibility and payment rather than to not letting the owner know and also to put it in writing so that there is no uh, misunderstanding between the owner and the vet. In this case, there was no written instructions as to the need to check for abscess the next two days. And so the abscess recurred and after five weeks the owner brought it back yesterday and uh, the hamster was operated. See the other video? Two of your vets, subcontact level abscesses, two of hamsters, Singapore, April 28, 2015, day two after surgery.